fucking crazy. I'm immediately demonetized. <laughs> right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live stream. My name is Dan Inman. According to my Instagram and uh, TikTok profile, I am the best damn agent in, in Coles, Virginia. Would you agree, Sean? I'd agree. All right. I'm paying to say that, though. Say, yeah. <laughs> Might be a little biased. He's a little biased. My paychecks come from the best damn universe. If this is your first time on the live stream, every time we ask people where you're coming from, where, where are you at, we want to know. Let us know in the comments. If you have any questions, feel free, feel free, feel free to load them up down there in the comment section because I don't want to miss any. And uh, we want to give the people what they're looking for. Tonight, we are covering the best places to eat in Norfolk, Virginia. Norfolk, Virginia. Norfolk, Norfolk, Virginia. Now, if you are a local, what's the best way to say that? That's really the question because Sean and I have lived here for a long period of time. Sean, basically his entire life. Me, uh, 20 years. And to be honest, I've heard uh, a dozen people that have said they lived here their entire lives call it slightly very different variations of that. And each swears to the heavens that they are correct. So that would be a good question, you know? I should, uh, I should call them. <laughs> <laughs> and one day, mark my words, this is being recorded. We will have Pharrell on a video that we do. Yeah. One day. It will happen. I'm, I'm putting it out into the universe. Mm. Speaking of Pharrell, speaking of this area, you guys know that there's a big uh, surf thing coming down at the ocean front. Uh, Sean and I were just down at the attorney that we use on a regular occasion for on the real estate side. And uh, their office is overlooking the construction site. It's super cool. What's up? Somebody else said Jay Leno's brother. Jay Leno's brother? You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Bearded Jay Leno is what I, I got earlier. Uh, yeah. some, some rude ones in there. That's okay. Not rude, just a little <laughs> <laughs> They call me bearded daddy or something in there. You'll tell me later. All right. <laughs> Tonight, so we always try to do a libation of choice. Tonight, uh, the bourbon, straight bourbon whiskey, comes from Manassas, Virginia. Manassas, Virginia. The Distillers Reserve, straight bourbon whiskey, KO Distilling. If I read it, it says bravery. Let me bring that down a notch bravery is bravery is not facing risk a journey to a new world a new career or later in life changing production to meet a global crisis it takes determination resourcefulness and resilience four centuries ago the first american whiskey was distilled in virginia a new industry was launched endured against unfathomable odds that spirit of perseverance distilled through 400 years of craft is proudly presented today as our 100 100 proof distillers reserve Straight bourbon whiskey, bottled and bond by KO Distilling. Uh, Sean and I are probably an ounce and a half in. Watching from DC, DC, Diva Temple. I believe we've seen you before, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think we've seen you once or twice before on here. Lovely to have you this evening. Um, I hope you do have a uh, do you have a libation of choice that you're joining with us tonight, and I'll give you a little cheers if you are. Tink. I'll give Sean one there. Good to have you, brother. Tonight. Uh, is just more of a fun one. Um, we're, we're not covering really anything to do with real estate. Uh, but to be honest, if you're going to move here, whether that's Norfolk or Virginia Beach or Chesapeake, you want to know where to go to eat. Everybody does. And uh, regardless of that, make, makes puts a little extra poundage around the midsection, whether we like it or not. Having a good place to go to eat is important. Uh, oh, yeah, she's been around. That's right. Only water tonight. Still working. Oh, man. I'm, well, Cheers to the, the hard workers out there. I mean, I'm technically working. My boss is kind of a dick. Um, that'd be me. Uh, well, my wife is really the, the boss. No, that's not even true. You know, I've, no, I've noticed this trend in my life, Sean. I have uh, Rachel, who's my boss at home. I have Jamie, who's my boss at work. And now I have a female trainer who also bosses me around at the gym. So basically... You must like being that bossed around by humans. There may, there's probably some psychological Somewhere. insight there that that needs to be explored, but not tonight. All right, so <laughs> best food in Norfolk. Let me uh, let me expand on here. View slideshow. Boom. All right. Uh, first picture here. Are we covering the first picture, or, or is this kind of like a? No, it's, it's 
Oh, okay, we're not going to surprise. This this, this is this is the the teaser, yes. if you will. Okay, so um, take that in for all its glory, because that fried chicken tie, chicken tie. <laughs> Starting off well. I'm like a half ounce in, to be honest. Uh, that fried chicken thigh is delectable. You have gravy, cheddar, and bacon on a sweet potato roll or bun roll, biscuit, biscuit, there's, biscuit. There's the word. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. First overview. We're going to cover some, uh, we're going to cover some best burgers. We're going to get some upscale dining, some casual dining, some cheap eats and some local faves. Uh, again, oysters, maybe a little, little hint, hint, nod, nod to the future here. Uh, if you don't know, this area is very well known for our oysters. Uh, they almost got harvested to extinction and they've made a massive comeback. All right. Best burgers. We got three here. And uh, first and foremost, um, I don't want to say best because each one of these is and pretty I fantastic. Will say it for you. <laughs> is 80-20 is your favorite? 80-20 is. Okay. Um, I'll give you my my ranking and how it works. 80-20, I think if I'm going to go to a date, if I want the most creativity and um, a reasonable price. Not It's not cheap, mm -hmm. but reasonable. It is, is When I say reasonable, Five Guys is freaking ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> and this is in alignment with Five Guys. Yeah. 8020 is de de delectable. Um, let, me, let me pull up the, the photos here. Um, there's an interesting ham one. Their fries here are fantastic. Yeah. Really, really good fries. <clears throat> they have a great bar. Um, and this is a pretty good mixture because in the evenings when it gets real late, uh, it's pretty good for a place to go and hang out with singles and, you know, get a real bar vibe. Um, but if you want to go in the afternoon or early evening, totally easy. And they have also have a brunch menu, totally easy to take uh, your family here with kids. As you can see in this photo on occasion, they have uh, live music. Um, these are my wife's fave. I mean, something fried and then happens in pickles. Absolutely wonderful. 8020 Burger Bar is is a is an option you cannot ignore. Number two is sandwiches, burgers and hoagies. Uh, this is a little hole in the wall joint. Um, you'll have to look it up because it, you wouldn't you drive right by it if you didn't know it was there. The portions know. here are absurd, um, meaning they are just massive, massive fries, massive burgers. Um, absolutely wonderful. If you're just now joining us, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Dan Inman. Coastal Virginia's best damn realtor, self-proclaimed. We are enjoying some libations from the Distillers Reserve out in Manassas. There we go. Absolutely lovely. So far, we, we're about an ounce in. Uh, well, Sean's two ounces in. Uh, and we are going over the best places to eat in Norfolk or Norfolk or Norfolk. Multiple ways to say that. Third on this list is Jack Brown's Beer and Burger Joint. And... Um, they have a uh, they have a like a a barbecue burger here. Let me see if I can. This is another place where if you if you need a good uh, bar scene, got a great bar. Many times they're they're open quite late. Sean, how how late are they open there? Can you look that up real quick? Actually, I think I can see it right here. Can I? Let me pull it up and yeah. So there you go. All the way up till two a.m. on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. They're open late. So if you need a little bit of party, the other thing uh, that's kind of great is this is downtown. So if you want to do some kind of like bar hopping, uh, hit up Saltine. If you want to go to Hell's Kitchen, uh, you want to do some late night shopping and you want a place to go to to, to hit up before you head home and, uh, you know, call that babysitter and tell them to stay, stay a little bit longer. Uh, this is a great spot to go. Absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend. Um, it's also within walking distance of Town Point Park. So if you end up going to some type of festival or something like that and enjoying yourself and they shut it down at 10 o'clock, well, you can keep the party going yeah. at Jack Brown's Beer and Burger. And they have beer, as it as the name suggests. All right. Up next, upscale dining restaurants. Now, um, I've only not been to one of these, Sean. No, so there is one. I was, actually, I know what it is, but I, I put it on the list. Anyway. That's okay. Mm -hmm. um, well, we've been to the place. We've just not eaten there. Yep. 
Um, it's in our Norfolk uh, shop play stay or shop stay play stay. What is it? It's bothering me. Well, it's our Norfolk video that we have done. And uh, well, first and foremost on this list is Burden Baldwin Bros Steakhouse. Uh, if you are a fan of fine dining, and when I say fine dining, one of the things that they do is you'll have, uh, if you ever go to like a really fancy place, Sean, you've been there what, once with me. Mm -hmm. We went there for like a, a company like dinner one night. Um, you know, a place is fancy when you make a little mess with your, your like croutons or your stuff and it's sitting on a table and somebody comes over with a little bit of a, it looks like a blade and they yeah. scrape that off and take it away from like the crumbs off the table. Like, oh, that's how you know it's fancy. This is fancy. Um, two, I didn't realize that I would like roasted bone marrow so much. It was delicious. Do you remember what you got there, Sean? Yeah, so I got, I think I got the, the Wagyu. Mm -hmm. I didn't, his boss man here. Because Dan this. said, live it yeah, up. He did. He said, he said I had the permission. So I was like, well, I don't know if I'll ever have the opportunity to have a Wagyu steak. So I, I mm -hmm. went, I went. And it was, it was as advertised, absolutely amazing. You know, I, I struggle with it as a, as a prior poor child. Um, anytime I spend that much money on a steak, I feel a little dirty. Yeah. It's delicious. I just don't know if it's that much more delicious. Uh, do you remember how much it, I think it was like 200 bucks or something like that, or 160 uh, one, or something? Yeah, the one girl got it in our company that was the $200 one. Like yeah. I got like the one, there's two, it's an Australian one and a regular one. Yeah. The, it was offensive. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was hurtful. Either one was more than I've ever paid for multiple people. I'm pretty <laughs> sure when I bought steaks for my entire family plus extended family, I think I spent a hundred dollars yeah. for steak for everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was because I went to Costco and they had like uh, a special for like $14 a pound or something along those yeah. lines. Um, but that being said, just a fantastic menu. Um, the I've had uh, their bone marrow. Um, I've had uh, their foie, foie gras, foie gras, foie gras, foie gras, foie gras. Um, I've had their she crab soup. I've had their uh, beet salad. Absolutely fantastic. Their steaks, obviously. Um, if you're going to call yourself a steakhouse, you got to be halfway decent. One of the really cool things that I think people don't know about Bird and Baldwin is that they have really cool wine cellar. Did I take you down there when we were there? I think so. Yeah. Um, like their basement is wine cellars and it's like straight out of a movie. You feel like you're in, um, uh, what's that one where you're, oh, what's the movie I'm thinking of? Sean, enter my brain and figure out what I'm <laughs> thinking. <laughs> well, the, uh, National, National treasure. Trash, treasure. Yeah. Like it feels like a scene out of that. Yeah, it's yeah, super yeah. cool down there. Um, number two, saltine. Uh, this this restaurant. Um, let me pull up pictures here. Actually, let me pull. Let me show you Bird Baldwin real quick. Oh no, what I do? Um, um. Well, you there. There's some surf and turf for you. Oh, their sides here are also exceptional because you can do family style and you get a really big side and then you can actually share it. Um, I don't know if I've actually had dessert there, Sean. I'm always so freaking stuffed. Yeah. Uh, these are these shrimp, by the way, are gigantic. It doesn't look like it, but they're enormous. Um, wonderful drink menu, uh, oysters rock. Oh, I have, I've had, I've had their um, whatever this is, creme brulee. All right, moving on. Um, on to saltine. So saltine, uh, lovely restaurant. Uh, it is. Uh, let me show you here on the maps. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Downtown, right there at the Hilton. The grain is at the top. Saltine is in the middle. Um, either one of these, to be honest, are, are really going to be good. Saltine is more the, more the high end. Um, grain is probably more of like scenery, bar scene, hangout. They have a really cool rooftop area. Um, the video I mentioned earlier, we end there on the video uh, and has some really good drone photography of that, that place. Uh, this not, not that long ago. So for those who don't know, I was in the Navy. I was uh, with a squadron called H. SC-84, uh, Helicopter Combat Squadron, and uh, the Red Wolves. And we had a local um, like meetup or meet and greet uh, with some of the old guys in there, um, myself included. I could consider myself the old guy. Uh, and it was such a cool experience, good food, and an even better atmosphere. They have like a little private room in the back um, that it looks like 
the doors are the bookcases and it opens up into like a private dining area. Super cool. I'm not sure why this photo has a photo of a video of water. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, but Saltine is absolutely lovely. Uh, I really enjoyed going there with my, my, my bros. Now, here's the one, Sean, that I, I haven't been to, uh, the Glass Light Restaurant. Um, but this one's really fascinating. One, because uh, for those who don't know, Norfolk is one of the largest collections of glass art in the world. Not just in the U.S., but in, in the world. Uh, they have classes, and this pink money that you see up here on the bar um, is not small. This thing is like six and a half feet long. It might even be longer than that. Yeah, um, and they have all kinds of, of art in here. You can see here, here's some, some pictures of it. Uh, and their restaurant here is extremely well reviewed. So you have an opportunity to go see some really high end uh, glass art while, um, you know, maybe if you're, if you're waiting for you to be seated and then you can go and have a fantastic dining experience with a really lovely atmosphere. Uh, I would highly recommend checking this place out. Like I said, Unfortunately, I have not had a chance to eat here. We're going to have to remedy, the, remedy that here sometime soon. Um, but everything that I have heard from friends and family is that it is lovely. All right, moving on. Cheap eats. Now, just because it says cheap does not mean it's not good. I'd argue some of the best eats. Here. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Uh, first and foremost, that very first photo that you saw at the very beginning, that one right there, uh, is... The Hella Fitzgerald from The Handsome Biscuit. Uh, and I will argue with anyone with fighting uh, that this is probably one of the best places to stop. If, you, if you're going to be in Norfolk only for visiting, um, if you're not going to be here for a long period of time, and you need a place that like feels authentic to Norfolk, um, this, is, this is where you go. Sweet potato biscuit, fried chicken thigh, some lovely thick cut bacon, uh, gravy and cheddar. I mean, again... Not the healthiest by any means. It is a hearty, hearty meal. But it's a sweet potato bun. And they make their own hot sauce there, the Lupo hot sauce. Oh, yeah. Recommend grabbing some. I think I have some downstairs right next to my bottle of Speedies. Uh, let me pull up, let me pull up uh, their photos here. Um, this is the outside. It's a tiny, tiny place. And it's it usually is almost always packed. There's usually a line out the door. There's very limited seating inside. There's your Hella Fitzgerald right there. <sighs> Mama bear, that makes the heart pitter patter. Right now. Just looking at it, man. It is so good. Um, gosh, man, they have some really good ones. Um, they have a barbecue one. They've got um, that right there is the Stevie, if I remember correctly. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, this is just one of those places that if you're going to stay, only for a few days, or if you're only in Norfolk for a little bit of time, this is absolutely one of those. It's like, it's a must visit. Do you agree with that, Sean? I agree with you. All right. You're in town for a longer period of time and you have a chance to wake up and go to get a place that has some bagels, some bagels, some bagels, <laughs> bagels. How many people we got on TikTok over there, Jonathan? Four on TikTok. We had 50. What happened? I don't know. All right. Um, so, if you're just coming on stream, one, we're covering some of the best places to eat in Hampton Roads. Particularly, we're going for um, Norfolk or Norfolk. Two, we always do a local libations. This is the Distillers Reserve Straight Bourbon Whiskey, what we're sipping on tonight. So far, absolutely lovely, especially over a little bit of ice. Um, I'm not a purist where you have to sprinkle a little bit of water in it. I love it over ice. So, um, if you disagree, then who cares? <laughs> this is my live stream. <laughs> this is my, this is my, it's my live stream. Uh, and I am your your gracious host, uh, the best damn realtor in, Ham in Hampton Roads or Coastal Virginia. All right. Next up, Yorgles, Yorgles, Yorgos Bagel Dashery or Bagel Dashery, um, as my daughter says on occasion. Mm -hmm. uh, this place, if you're going to go, I love the everything bagel toasted with sausage, egg, and pepper jack cheese. It's one of my favorites. Um, their cinnamon raisin bagel with strawberry cream cheese is lovely, but they have a host of, of different selections, some vegan, some vegetarian. So if, if that's your persuasion, the interior here is beautiful. They just redid this not, what, a year ago, Sean? Yeah, a year. About a year ago, <laughs> they redid the upstairs. Uh, there's some shared co-working space. There's a bar up there for later in the evening. And then uh, they also make this open during the day for people to go in and dine, um, which is great because as you can see in this photo with the line, 
It goes out the door almost every Friday and Saturday and Sunday. And uh, they ran out of seating. So they've been eventually finally bought the place upstairs and expanded the, the dining here. Again, um, they don't just have bagels. So, uh, but I got to chime in here. My go to is yes, the everything bagel, but they make in house cream cheese and they have a chives cream cheese that is just mm -hmm. unbelievably good. So good. <coughs> they also expanded the seating. This used to be some parking out here. They um, paved it and uh, created some outdoor seating here. I think during COVID, if I remember remember correctly, um, and have kept it. And it's it's a lovely addition. Uh, I probably take my family here at least once a month. Yeah. Um, occasionally, we'll meet up with a friend. I met up my brother here not that long ago. Funny story with my family. We actually have a group chat here that my sisters, whenever my brother's in town, we go to Yorgos, and it's called the Yorgos. <laughs> <laughs> That's the group of people that are going to Yorgos, the Yorgos. Love it. So. Um, lovely, lovely place. Uh, if you end up being a local here for a period of time, uh, this will probably become a regular uh, visit if you live in Norfolk. If you live out in Virginia Beach, eh, I don't know if it's worth the drive. Yeah. They got they got other choices that you can go to. Last up, uh, Mr. Shawarma. Um, and uh, if you don't never had shawarma, uh, well, it's delicious and you need to go. Um, is this a chain, Sean? I don't feel like no, it's, it's a not, chain. It's, not, it's local, it's right? Not, yeah, it's local. Okay. <laughs> um, I think that their lamb here is incredible uh it is made fresh and it, it's a pretty simple menu uh and and that's what i kind of lo love about it is you go in and you've got very limited options sort of like a chipotle and it's it's quick it's easy you can get in your meal very very fast again sort of like a chipotle you're not waiting real long this is not uh, a place where you're going to sit down really and dine and someone's going to wait on you they have a really chintzy uh and i'm sorry mr reformer but you really need to upgrade your uh soft drink area because that thing is a piece of crap <laughs> and it needs to be updated um however your shawarma is delicious and uh is it called tzatziki sauce is that what that's yeah, called yeah. oh so so very very good now they make family platters here it's not, it's not sauce. what's it called it's ranch. oh my god <laughs> i can't believe you just said that um the ranch, guys. They, yeah, Sean, <laughs> get out of here with that. Uh, what I would highly recommend an, another one of the things I think, like insider hack, if you will, for this place is to do the family meal because um, it ends up being a little bit cheaper. And if you're going to feed more than four people, um, you can get the family meal and probably feed six or seven people, depending on how hungry they are. Uh, and it ends up coming out actually pretty reasonable on cost. All right, next up. Local favorites, no frill, grill, the green onion, and pendulum vibe meats. Um, now, pendulum actually has a name for their... their Codex. Is that what it's called? Yeah, that's right. Okay. They're not actually in there anymore. What do they call their sandwich place? Is it just, it just pendulum? Am I, she's going to kill me if she watches this. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure it's the same. I mean, say Google will say it. That's all right. All right. First and foremost, no frill. Uh, this has been a local favorite for a very long time. Just all your staples, um, chicken fried steak. They have a menu that is probably way too long. Uh, my wife, uh, anytime she sees a menu that has just tons and tons and tons on the plate, she just thinks about food cost. Um, but if you're just kind of looking for a place that does everything pretty decently, um, I'm going to admit, no frill, don't, don't, don't hate on me. It's not my it's not my number one place to go, but if someone says, "Hey, we're going to No Frill," I'm like, "Cool, I know the food's going to be good." Yeah, um, I've never gone there and thought this is crap. Uh, and you can kind of see here that like they have a really wide selection. You got the chicken tendies for the kiddos, um, local fave for a very very long time. Good sized portions, absolutely good sized portions. Probably um, the longer standing ones on probably there. Mm hmm. There mm hmm. Yeah. The, um. I will, I'll give a shout out though for the, they have buffalo shrimp there and it's some of the best buffalo shrimp I've ever had. They're okay. Like appetizer of buffalo shrimp. Is, there you go. There, there it is really right good. there. It's real good. Uh, I've never had something there that I thought this isn't good. Yeah. Every time I've had it, I was like, this is good. Mm -hmm. It's just not my, it's not my pick. Yeah. It's not my pick. Uh, but I, but I know a few people it's like. Of, it's one of those where if you, you have a group of people that are very diverse and they're like, oh, I don't like this, I don't like this. Yeah. You can bring in there. Everybody's, everybody's got an option. Everybody's got an option. I, I probably have three or four uh, friends um, that are in their 50s or up 
uh, that if we were to go somewhere and they were to determine to go, this is exactly where they would pick it because they just been going there for decades. Yeah. All right. Next up, we've got uh, the green onion. Now, here's some some fine dining for you. Um, but it also is is a place where. Actually, I took my mom here for Mother's Day a couple, right, couple right, years right back. Door, yeah. yeah, right, right around the corner. Um, and they've got a really interesting selection of food. Um, let me go over. It's French cuisine. Is that right? Yes. That's right. Um, French inspired. You got the lobster roll. This is not, I wouldn't say it's the most expensive place. I wouldn't say it's the cheapest place. It's right there kind of in the middle. You can go for brunch and it's totally, you can show up in flip flops and shorts and, you know, a t-shirt. Yeah. Um, but if you're going to go in the evening, they're, they're probably going to expect you to dress up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so I've gone here probably three or four times with my wife on, on date night. Um, the lobster mac and cheese here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't, there are no words, Sean. <laughs> Let me put it this way. The first time I had their lobster mac and cheese, for those at home, <laughs> the green onion, the first time, Sean, that I ever had their lobster mac and cheese, Rachel and I ate it for the appetizer and decided to skip my next entree in order second lobster mac and cheese <laughs> that's how ridiculously good it was all right i don't know if it's on the menu still yeah but it is i hope it is because it's freaking ridiculously delicious and now i want some french onion um french onion. yes green, onion. green onions <laughs> well i mean the french, french onion. yeah the french french onion soup at the french no, the green onion i don't know if they have french onion soup all right pendulum fine meats um they have some baller sandwiches here uh crazy good portions dylan and uh what's dylan's wife's name um i think it does i'll think of it here in just a minute uh well one it might still be on the channel where we did the interview with them as one of our first interviews that we did uh one lovely couple super cool dana, dana. yep dylan and dana wakefield I Google it and I got it. Yep. Um, the owners are wonderful human beings, um, really care about their staff. They really stepped it up during COVID and took care of their people. Uh, and I've seen them multiple times make personal sacrifices to, to help people out. I, I can't speak highly enough about the, the owners. I mean, sure, all the other owners are great. I just don't know them personally. Yeah. Um, but the portions here on, on these sandwiches are, are ridiculous. Um, it is so, so very good. So you can go in and get your steaks and your bacon and your eggs and your uh, your bone marrows for making stock, whatever it is that you want to make. And yeah, that's what's cool. It's, it's a butcher shop. Mm -hmm. It's a butcher shop. And then you can go in and get a crazy good sandwich. Uh, let's see. Do they have, I mean, that burger. That, that's, that, that scale doesn't do it justice. Yeah. It's really, really good. Uh, they, they've done quite a few where restaurants, um, alkaline came out of this place or they rented out the space. Um, and Kevin, if I remember it's Kevin, right. Ordonez. He, he <laughs> basically started alkaline out of, out of this place until he grew out, outgrew it and started his own restaurant. Um, super cool spot. You should totally check him out. What's up, Matt. Beach. We got some VB people out here. What, what part of Virginia beach? Matt? Yeah. What part of Virginia beach there, Mr. Matt? And cheers. And do you have a restaurant in Norfolk that we need to talk about? Yeah. Do we? Do you know any Norfolk restaurants that we've skipped out on so far? If you're if you're just joining us, uh, feel free to to chime in tonight. Again, my name is Dan Inman. You're your local host, and as I jokingly say, but all too seriously, the best damn coastal real estate agent on the face of the coastal Virginia. Uh, we are going over the best places to eat in Norfolk or Norfolk. Uh, tonight, local libation or libation of choice is the Distillers Reserve Bottle and Bond Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Absolutely delightful. I'm still on my first two ounces, Sean, so you must be sitting nice over there. Kentsville, all right. I slowed down. I poured, mm. I poured my third and it's just sitting. It's nice, especially after it's nice and cooled. Mm, that's delightful. All right, let me, let me roll on. Surf rider. I think we might have talked about them last time. Massive surf rider. Yeah, man. I think we did hit surf, surf ride on the last one. Uh, we did a, a Best Places in Virginia Beach two weeks ago. Feel yeah. free to go in there and, and put that suggestion in there if we don't. I think all the links are going to be in the description. Already in there. Already in there. Look at that. Sean's on top of it. Uh, we, Beach one's in and then these will be in. Okay. 
So here's some honorable mentions, and, and I'm going to go through these uh, as, as quickly as I can. Tortilla West. Um, this is probably Sean's honorable mention. You you like this one a lot. Tortilla West, yes. I've been there a couple times, and like I remember Matt Balderson's the one that took me there for the first time. He absolutely loved it. Not my cup of tea. Um, another place though, if you want to go out and stay out late, that that's a, that's you go there super late. I'm yeah. pretty sure they're open real real late. Yeah, the area is absolutely fantastic. They have a couple different restaurants in there. If you want to kind of bar hop, you can do that. And they've got uh, some torch and they have some good cornhole boards there. Um, And then you've got uh, next up 30 Buffalo. If you want, if you want, yep, started in Norfolk. Um, If you want authentic New York style wings, this is where you go. What do you get, Sean, when you're there? So just for Dan. Every other time I'll get different things, but I will get just regular buffalo, mm-hmm. um, bone-in wings, mm-hmm. and their fries. That's the underrated part, I think. Of, I think they have some of the best fries in all the area. Their fries are just – I love their fries. I don't know if they have – can you name a place with better fries? I can't. I don't know if I can, yeah. Of it's, that style, of that yeah, style. Yeah, I was going to say, because for me, there's two different styles. Like, I like to dip my fries in ranch, and when I go there, I don't need to – Because you're a weirdo, but yeah. <laughs> I don't even need to because I think that their fries are just mm-hmm. on their own great season fries. Yep. Really good. Well, and you can also do poor man's wings poor there, wings which is you take any of their their dry or wet uh, rubs and you can put it over the fries and they crisp them up so nicely. Yeah. It just it goes well. Uh, garlic parm it, it is my go to when I'm doing poor man's wings. It is super good. Uh, sweet sriracha, extra crisp, extra extra crispy. I like that like crunch I'm getting in there. All flats if I can, and blue cheese. That's where it's at. I don't know if I've heard of this one, Matt Scott. I don't know if I've been there. Benny D'Amato's for super good and huge pizza slices. Will you write that one down, Sean? We gotta yeah. check that one out. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that one. You know, I've been here for 20 years, and I'm still finding new places. There's so many restaurants. Yeah, so this looks great. I think. I mean, no disrespect to the Virginia Beach people, but mm-hmm. Norfolk just has, I feel like, the better options for food. You know, the last decade may may have given a little more of a pendulum swing yeah. the opposite direction, but the pendulum is still in Norfolk. Yeah. It's just not pegged out the way it, it has it been. Be yeah. Uh, because I feel like Virginia Beach used to be filled with a lot of chain type places. They're starting to get more of the like local flavor. There. Out, outside of like the, the tried and true Waterman, Surfside, or Surf Riders, Bubba's, that type of thing. Yeah. yeah. Stein Hilbers, things that have been around for a long, long time. Whereas like all of downtown Norfolk is just filled with all these local places. All right. Grilled Cheese Bistro. Um, I think I've only been here once. Yeah, we went there for a, a highlight once. Um, I mean, it is what it is. It's it's grilled cheese. Let me, let me pull up. Oh, no. Let me see if it'll let me. Oh, you forgot to hyperlink it. One second. Copy. Yeah, Sean, what the heck? All right, let me see here. Get the snapshots. Well, if you want a grilled cheese and you want it done to the nines, this is where you go. Um, they have beer. They've got fries. But it is about every take of a grilled cheese that you could possibly imagine. Great. Is that melon? What the hell is that, Sean? I don't know what that is. It's not, it can't be. My initial gut reaction is no way am I eating a grilled cheese with no. melon in it. But the other part of me is deeply intrigued <laughs> and says, I'd try that. Yeah. Is anybody anybody on here try that? We, we Handsome have, biscuit, we yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was in the that was in the list, my man's. Um, love Hanson biscuit. I'm a Hella Fitzgerald man myself. What's your What's your order, Matt? What's your order there, Mister Matt? Get biscuit. All right. Next up uh, is Toast. Um, this place is um, all. I think they're owned by the same owners as Hanson biscuit, if I remember correctly. Uh, and they are right next to a little Mexican place. Um, which is absolutely fantastic. They have a huge uh, whiskey list. It is uh, in the railroad district area. Uh, really good food, really good drinks. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but um, I think we had we had like a stock uh, like stew when we were there. Yeah, what was it was some type of bowl? Yeah, they had a bunch of different stuff. There. It was, it was like a breakfast hearty bowl. It was really good. A lot of good food and and really really good. Ten Top, uh, another really good one. 
uh, if you've never been here, this is on um, Shirley and or the corner of Shirley and Collie. Uh, fantastic soups. So many things made in house. Yeah. Um, they're tomato. I had like their tomato soup and like uh, like a grilled cheese there once. I've actually never eaten here. You not? It's always been on the list of like. I will have to take it sometime soon, man. Going there and then I just never. It's always the, you choose something else. Uh, but I've heard it's really good. It. it <clears throat> if I can admit, I've been here a couple times. And they've had their off days. Okay. Um, I think sometimes, uh, depending on who's in, they've had their off days. But this is a great picture to show off. I mean, just hearty, homemade delectableness. That is, that's really, uh Today, like rainy day today, that seems like a, yep. a go-to move. Yep. Yep. All the way, man. And then uh, last on this list is uh, Commune. Um, now this, well, that didn't work out. Commune. Norfolk. Let's see if I can get it to come up here. Interesting. All right. Um, well, let me let me do it this way. So one, the space itself is super cool. Um, it's in the arts district of Norfolk, and uh, it's like super tall ceilings, very rustic feeling. They have a little bar in here. All kinds of interesting stuff. Their pancakes are absolutely wonderful. Um, their uh, little bowls that they have, breakfast bowls that they have are wonderful. Their um, fried chicken and waffles is really, really good. I've had that here. They have a pretty daggone good coffee bar. Are they like specifically supposed to be like local? There is. There's chicken waffles. Like all local source type thing? They, they try to get as much locally sourced as humanly possible. Now, if that is... Is that like a mimosa with with the uh, chicken waffles? Idea, she said, I don't know about the melon. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'd be willing to try it. I'd be willing to try it. I feel like in some of those cases, somebody put it together, ate it, thought it was good enough to throw it on the menu. Yeah. It may be one of those things where you take one bite and you're like, meh, not for me. Yeah. Uh, but I'd be willing to at least give it a go. The grain, yep. Yeah, man. We mentioned it in our uh, team talk. Shout out. That's definitely one of those, again, I, I, love the I have the the uh the norfolk video that we have put together for it's eat shop stay that's what it is um we have a video where we kind of talk about like if you're going to be in norfolk for the weekend uh, the grain is one of the ones i think like, if you're going to be here for a weekend dude absolutely must make must make a night of it go to the grain on like especially if the weather's good the outside they have a little um even if it's a little chilly and a little windy they have a huge fire pit that's out there it's a really nice uh a nice evening to, i did I just had my birthday a couple months ago, and we were trying to figure out where to go, and I was like, great. Mm -hmm. Let's go for the view and mm -hmm. have some, some good food. And the weather's good enough. You go out to a town point, go for a walk, go along the docks there. some spike ball and then went to the drain. At the town point? <laughs> the town point. Oh, nice. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, these uh, it gets pretty packed in there on, on some weekends, so, but it's it's a really good spot. All right, well, that's that's it we got for you folks. Um, uh, you folks. Who, who's it? That's not – I don't know. Not, I don't know what I'm saying over here. Cheers. Thanks for joining us. Dan Inman, Coastal Virginia's best damn realtor. Self-proclaimed. Till next time. <laughs>